Deep it goes to Hogg, and Hogg tries to find the gap, and Hogg is through. Oh, and has support from Cornel de Prea, but spilled. But gaps appearing already. A little chip from Barrett, and McKenzie now through the middle, racing onto this one, picked up, but they'll come back. Perhaps for the advantage, was it over? It was, so Hogg has to try and wrestle his opposite number, McKenzie, away. McAnally, a little bit more leisurely this time. Toulis got it back, and Scotland with the attack again. Once more stepping through Hogg, but this time Barrett gets to him. But the All Blacks come in, McKenzie chasing down the kick from Barrett, but into the arms of Hogg, who returns it. And will it bounce the right way? It does, and the crowd give it a cheer. Super kick from Stuart Hogg. Brisbane born against his familiar foe, and Russell feeds Hogg, and Hogg just dances round the black shirt and finds space again. So dangerous, shipped out by Dupria. So still a penalty advantage. It's a, a free attack. Still advantage. Stuart Hogg almost through. Oh, Mackenzie sends it high, very, very dangerous full back, but he's opposite number oh, and Stuart Hogg uh, taken out by Waisaki Naho. And Scotland not making too much ground. Russell gives it out wide now to Hogg, a bit of clear ground in front of him. Hogg taken down well by Ryan Crotty. The space out wide now. There is Toulis, the link man through Bergen. Hogg ships it on to Hamilton. And Hamilton on his first cap. And Marfo hurls it out, and a chance for Scotland to try and counter. Hogg, a little chip, trying to run onto it, but Mackenzie, as the cry was advantage over, some New Zealand now in full flight, and here they come, wonderful handling, and the interception from Russell, and Russell now chasing down his own kick, but it's him against four, five All Blacks. Pick and go at the back by Liam Squire, and Liam Squire is free now, and he's got support as well, can't quite get that ball away. Sets it back now, though. Penalty to Scotland. Get the whole of the All Blacks half. Hugh Jones gives it on to Stuart Hall. Little chip for Seymour. Gathers it, gives the pass, and Hugh Jones now for the try. What a try for Scotland. McAnally ships it on to Russell and then Horn, and then Hugh Jones again. Out wide it goes to Hogg, and Hogg steps on the accelerator, can't quite get away. Great tackle by McKenzie. Getting closer, but still so far away, wide it goes now. And Hugh Jones into Hogg, and Stuart Hogg is through! And Stuart Hogg for the corner, can't quite get there. The ball infield, and it's gone forward now. And the clock will go red, and that might be it. That might be it. And the whistle blows, the cruelest sound for Scotland here at Murrayfield. What an effort, what an effort. So close, but it is the All Blacks again who win. Well, it's that man in short. I thought he was going to have just the perfect ending to almost a perfect game. Man of the match, Stuart Hogg. Fafita played well for the All Blacks. I thought John Barkley was good as well, but Stuart Hogg almost wins it for Scotland with this break. He's been such an influence, such an attacking threat. And as you say, he gets in there, and it's Barrett, the try scorer, and then he's a defensive hero. The ball drifts forward. But the man in the match is Stuart Hogg and Gregor Tendon so close for Scotland.